Nine's in startup. Now that we're in startup, both stages are now beginning to pressurize for liftoff. LD is go for launch. And that is the final go for launch. We're just under 40 seconds away. Let's listen in to terminal count. T minus 30 seconds. T minus 15 seconds. Falcon 9 is configured for flight. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition. And lift off. Vehicle pitching downrange. Stage one proportion is nominal. We are just over T plus 40 seconds into flight, and we Power saw Falcon 9 pierce the cloud layer, and it is up, heading into space. Right now, the Merlin engines are throttling down for a period known as Max Q. This is where the vehicle will experience the highest amount of stresses. Vehicle is supersonic. Max Q. All right, with Max Q behind us, we are throttling the engines back up to full power. We have five events coming up in quick succession. Uh, first up is going to be MECO, which stands for Main Engine Cutoff. At that point, the nine engines on the bottom of the first stage will shut off in preparation for uh, the next event, which is SES-1, or Second Engine Start-1. Or excuse me, uh, the next event is stage separation, where the two stages will separate from one another. Hey, back, chilling. The first stage will perform a flip to make its way back to our landing zone, and then we'll uh, start with SCS-1, which is second engine start one, where that single Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage will ignite and continue to carry our SARA-1 satellite into orbit. For today's landing, the first stage will, uh, after it performs its, its flip, will perform a boost back burn. And then after the boost back burn begins, we'll have fairing deploy. Miko, stage separation confirmed. Stage one, boost back burn is starting. <laughs> Fairing separation confirmed. Awesome. So we saw main engine cut off, and we saw the we saw the two stages separate from one another. We did get audio confirmation of the second engine start. Uh, on the second stage um, Merlin vacuum engine. Um, that's pretty much the last call out that we'll uh, hear from the second stage. Uh, so we'll just focus on the first stage. Uh, that's what you're seeing on screen right now as it's performing its boost back burn. Um, it pretty much flipped and is heading back uh, where it came from. Um, it's gonna be attempting its third and landing. stage one, boost back shut down. In a few minutes. So that boost burn did wrap up. In order to complete today's landing for the first stage, it has two more burns left. Next up is the entry burn, where three of the Merlin engines will reignite, and this will help to slow the stage down as it re-enters the upper part of the Earth's atmosphere. After that, we'll have the landing burn. This is 
This occurs just a few seconds before we land, and this is also the period where we'll deploy Vehicle our landing legs. Vehicle trajectory nominal. That entry burn is happening in about two minutes. So we have a few minutes to enjoy the first stage as it continues to make its way back to the West Coast for its landing attempt on landing zone four. We're seeing some periodic bursts of gas at the center of your screen. Uh, that is nitrogen coming from our attitude control systems that helps to orient the vehicle. This is a view from inside the interstage. And this view is uh, from the top of the first stage. Looking downward, you can see two of our four hypersonic grid fins there. Uh, those, as we get closer, will begin to pivot and uh, tilt. Uh, that also helps steer the first stage back to its targeted landing zone. We're about 30 seconds away from the beginning of our second of two burns for this first stage. Vehicle trajectory nominal. At the bottom left-hand side of the screen is a velocity gauge of the first stage. It's traveling about 3,500 kilometers an hour now, but once we begin the boost back burn, you'll start to see that number decrease. Um, and then after the boost back burn, or no, excuse me, not after the boost back burn ends, the, after the entry burn ends, uh, you'll continue to see the speed decrease as we hit the, the denser parts of the Earth's atmosphere. Stage one entry burn has started. And there's the entry burn. So three of the nine engines on the first stage have relit. As you can see, we are indeed slowing down the first stage. So the entry burn has completed. And stage one entry burn shut down. And in about a minute, we'll have the landing burn We'll see if we can land this booster for the third time. Stage one FTS is saved. Right, this is such a cool view of stage one is transonic. Going back through the cloud layer. Stage one landing burn has started. This is a great shot from the ground on the right hand side. Stage two FTS is saved. Terminal guidance. Landing legs have deployed. And welcome back, Falcon 9. That is and the third is landed. Landing successful landing for this LDA. booster. It also marks our 125th overall successful recovery of an orbital class rocket, including both Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy first stages. With that, at the request of our customer, we are going to bring our webcast to a close. Thank you to Airbus for entrusting us with today's mission. It's been an exciting 24 hours with this doubleheader Starlink followed by SARA-1. If you're looking for some added entertainment this evening, be sure to tune in for our third launch in less than 48 hours, the launch of Global Stars FM-15 from Florida at 12.27 a.m. Eastern on Sunday. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.